Well, tonight the country is still reeling after a weekend of mass shootings. Separate shootings in Texas and Ohio left more than 30 people dead and almost 50 people hurt in a matter of hours. Now, the first happened Saturday morning inside a crowded Walmart in El Paso. This is a look at a vigil held for those who lost their lives and those who are still recovering. Now, the death toll rose today with more than two people dead, bringing the toll to 22. More than two dozen were hurt. The suspect is charged with capital murder and is being held without bond. And 1,500 miles away, a gunman wearing body armor opened fire in a popular bar district in Dayton, Ohio. Nine people were killed, including the gunman's younger sister. The shooter was killed just minutes later by police. Earlier today, President Trump addressed the nation. I am open and ready to listen and discuss all ideas that will actually work and make a very big difference. Republicans and Democrats have proven that we can join together in a bipartisan fashion to address this plague. The president says he's ordering the Department of Justice to pour more resources into detecting potential shooters before they act. And Channel 3's Michelle Heron reached out to 21 of our state's leaders in Georgia and Tennessee and asked them what they're doing to prevent gun violence. Now, six leaders have responded to our request so far, and as you see, Michelle is here in the studio with some of those responses. Yeah, David, several mentioned that past work that they've supported in the legislature, as well as the need for more support regarding mental health. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee says he believes there is, quote, a need to be vigilant about mental health and signs of domestic terrorism and radicalization. Just this year, we put $40, or $40 million into school safety. We will continue evaluating policies that protect Tennesseans and also respect individual liberties, unquote. Tennessee Congressman Chuck Fleischman says, quote, I have supported the Fix NICS Act to address flaws in our existing background check system. He goes on to say we must come together to address issues of access to mental health resources and a toxic culture of violence in our society, unquote. Georgia Senator Johnny Isaacson says he, quote, has supported and will continue to su work for common sense legislation on firearms that keeps Americans safe without infringing upon our Second Amendment rights, un unquote. Isaacson went on to say he supports instant background checks to prevent convicted felons from getting them. Georgia Representative Matt Barton says, quote, we have to look at our mental health care in conjunction with the federal government to have any chance to stop these types of terrible events from happening. You can read their full statements in our app, and if we get any more responses from elected officials on this question, we will be share, sure to share them with you. In the studio, I'm Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.